Hi people, how are you doing? Today in our class, we will be talking about regular verbs. Regular verbs is a very interesting subject to discuss in English because they have some peculiarities. Of course, before watching this class, you already know what to do. So, I ask you to do it and let's start! To talk about regular verbs, we have to know their concept. So, a regular verb is a verb that has the past tense and the past participle ending with ed, while Irregular verb, the past tense and the past participle does not follow any specific rule. Here we have some verbs to discuss to you. For example, to be, as you can see, is not a regular verb because we have to be as the infinitive, was as the past tense, and were as the past participle. The other verb we have is to read and this verb is interesting because the past tense and the past participle are the same but there is a difference because in the infinitive you say to read but the past tense and past participle you pronounce read. And the last verb we can talk is to work. And you can see the past tense is worked and the past participle is the same. So this verb is a regular verb. And we have here this image related to this verb and I made a question to you where are the places you can find this image and what does it mean? As the regularity of the verbs are related to past I bring you here some information about past event so a past event could be one thing that happened in the past or a repeated thing. For example, we have here this sentence I stopped at a zebra crossing but, but they carried on. And you can see that the verb stop they get a double P and carry the verb to carry Y is turned into I. And here in the image we have probably the most famous zebra cross in history. It's like uh, the cover of Abbey Road Records from the Beatles. And the zebra, zebra crossing is located in front of Abbey Road Studios where they record the record. So here I bring you some rules to the regular verbs and for example, you have verbs that ends in E, you just need to add D. When the verb ends in a vowel and a consonant, you double the consonant. When the verb ends in consonant and Y, you take off the Y and add IED. And here we have some examples, agree, agree. Escape, escaped, stop, stopped, try, tried, carry, carried, and play, played. In the image, we have the poster of the movie Papillon, where the characters try to escape from jail. It's a very interesting story and it's a maximum security jail. So. Is a kind of uh, task they had to themselves. Now talking a little bit 
about pronunciation. We have here three examples uh, that you can check your pronunciation. This first one arrived and is interesting because you see sometimes in our language, Brazilian Portuguese, we tend to put vowels, sounds uh, of vowels in places where they are not in other languages. So it's common to Brazilian people to say arrive at because in our structure, this is a common structure. But in English, it's a bit different. Another verb we can use here is asked. And you can see it sounds like T in the end. And wanted. In this case, you have the sound of ID. And here you can see in the image there are other verbs you can train pronunciation. I give you the tip to put the word in the Google Translator and click on the sound icon to listen to the verb uh, pronunciation. Talking about the negative uh, for the regular verbs, it's interesting because the structure is used for both regular and irregular. So, it's easier in this way. You do it by adding did plus not plus the infinitive. And here we have the example. You didn't pass the test. The test did not cover what I studied. We have here the image with results of a test. And you have this letter F. And I guarantee you, it doesn't stand for uh, fabulous or fantastic, right? Do you know what does F in a test mean? Now, talking about interrogative, it is also the same for regular and irregular verbs. And the structure is did, the auxiliary verb, plus the subject pronoun, plus the infinitive form. And here we have an example. Did she live in England? And the other one, did you think you get home in time for your birthday? And as you can see in the image, we have a birthday cake and probably it would be the birthday cake I would love to have in my birthday. Hello people! How are you doing? So, first of all, I have to tell you we are here in the cover of a record named In Rock from the band Deep Purple one of the greatest of all time. I love this band. And that drummer, Ian Bass, is my idol. And I sent him a question. I want you to listen to, listen and watch the video and tell me what did Ian Bass reply. And the other question is, if you could send a question to your idol, what question would you send to him? So, reply those questions and I see you later. Bye bye.